Hey guys, so I said that I would make sure to vlog as we went to Vermont and we are about to leave. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming with my phone this weekend, so it might be a little bit shaky and I apologize. It's Thursday, about noon. We were supposed to leave at 9 a.m. and we are in typical fashion leaving late, which is fine. Um, so we head up today, my uh, boss is doing the two star, so we have to check in um, Thursday a day early because FBI horses have to check in a day early. So we're gonna go check in today, get the horses settled in. Um, I might go for a hack and uh, we have a, a good drive to get up there. I think it's like four and a half hours, so it'll be a long day, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got everything packed up yesterday. Um, pretty excited to go. I don't show until Saturday, so the first two days I'm kind of just like chilling. Um, so yeah, it'll be fun. I think there'll be a lot of fun time to just hang out and watch people ride and learn a lot. So I'm excited. The trailer is already hooked up and packed up, so I'm gonna get these guys loaded and we're gonna hit the road. Are we going on an adventure? Are we going on an adventure? Hi, you have to let me in. Can you let me in? Oh, thank you. Hi. So thankfully our travel day went smoothly and we got there before dark and it wasn't raining unlike our last Vermont experience. So that pretty much wrapped up the day. We got the boys settled in and took them for a walk and they seemed pretty happy so we kind of called it a day early so we could get some rest. Okay, I don't know if this will work but it's Friday morning now. We're going to do some stretchy lunging. The boys settled in good last night and um, everybody's really happy. Slept good, ate good, drank good. So um, my coach doesn't ride till later today. So we have a little bit of chill time to go a long way. Z kindly greeted me with some morning yoga stretches. And then I fed and watered both the boys, mucked their stalls while they got some beamer sessions. And then I headed out to lunge Rexy. Our horses are used to having a lot of turnout, whether it be all day or all night. So I try to make sure they get lots of walking and lunging and massaging and stretching while we're at away shows and they're cooped up in a stall. The day always flies by faster than you expect it to. So before I knew it, it was time to bathe and braid Rexy for his dress chest. After I bathed and braided Rexy and he got another beamer session, I gave him break time to rest, nap, and I took Z for a hack so that he could see everything on the property, do some loose stretchy work in our new dressage saddle, and um, kind of get ready since we knew he would have dressage and show jumping the next day. So he got to go out and get a little practice in. Then it was time to wrap up the day with Rexy's FEI debut. So he trotted down the center line and I'll show you guys some of his lovely movements from his dressage test. We wrapped Friday up with some evening course walking and then it was off to bed to gear up for a busy Saturday. They're like, hey lady, which are you gonna feed me? <laughs> so Saturday we knew was gonna be the busy day because Rex had show jumping in the morning and then I had dressage and show jumping in the afternoon. 
Thankfully, there was a pretty big gap between those, but it was still going to be a busy day. Rex was show jumping pretty early, like 9.30. So that's why we were the first ones at the barn that morning. I got Rexy out for a walk uh, while Allie mucked stalls and the boys got fed and beamered. And then it was pretty much tack Rex up and get right out to show jumping. Rexy had a pretty nice round with a few rails, but the jumps were pretty big to say the least. Um, I don't know what the actual measurement is of the two star FAI level, but quite large. <laughs> um, so he did a great job considering how large the fences were. When Rexy finished, I quickly bathed and braided Z and got on to warm up for my dressage. I feel like given the circumstances, our dressage test went pretty well. I am not going to post the whole thing, not because I'm not happy to share, just because it's going to take so much time up and we have more exciting things to talk about. But um, a loose horse had galloped past him earlier in the day and he was just really frazzled in the warm up. He kept feeling like he was going to spook out from under me and his heart was racing and he was clearly anxious. So I kind of just did everything I could in the warm up to get him where I needed to be to go in the ring. So considering his level of anxiety, I think we laid down a pretty good test. It was not a great test by any means for what I was hoping for with all the progress and the work that we put into the dressage. But considering how frazzled and anxious he was feeling, I think we did okay. Of course, the score reflected his anxiety and tension, but we got through it and we got to go on to jump. anything we did a quick tack change before we went out show jumping and z got some hand-fed snacks which is apparently how he prefers to be pampered in life I was super proud of our show jumping round. We have been working on rideability and him being collected and listening to me and letting me steer him to the fences and having a half halt. And we just honestly went out and had such a nice round. And the one rail that I pulled was honestly my fault. So overall, I was super pleased with this round. He was a good listener and he was not anxious and he honestly just seemed to have a good time out there and I feel like we both had such a great day and that was all I wanted I just my goal for the whole weekend had been to go out and have a calm rideable horse who wasn't anxious and frantic and we did that in the show jump so I was so proud of this ride at GMHA We got to end our crazy Saturday with some beers and tacos, thanks to the venue, and on to Sunday. Sunday was full of excitement as Rexy went clear at his first FEI 2 star. Uh, he had some time, but that was expected as he's only 15 hands tall. And he was honestly incredible. I've never been more proud. 
um, that my coach Allie and he achieved that. I'm so happy for them. Um, I also went out on cross country after having a, a kind of confidence crushing fall a few weeks back. And so honestly, I wasn't even sure I was going to go cross country this weekend. I kind of felt like puking all of Sunday up until the point and I felt like puking in the warm up and I just was sick to my stomach as I went into the start box and I just told myself though that you're going to have to go back out cross country after a fall like that's you're just if you want to go venting you're going to have to get over that feeling like eventually the fear will go away so I did and I also had a pep talk with Z about how I just needed to have a good day and he needed to be rideable and he was, if you have seen my helmet cam from GMHA, he was such a good boy. We had so much time and we did lots of trot transitions to practice our breaks and listening and he was so good and I really couldn't be happier with how the weekend went. We had such a rideable thoroughbred and and we finished like I think sixth. I haven't actually looked, but um, I'm really proud of him for being so good and grateful that I had a good confidence boosting ride and I got through it and that was all I needed to do that day. And some days the goals are a little bit different. You know, some days the goal is to win and other days the goal is to to finish. So um, that is pretty much the end of the vlog today with some clips from cross country. Uh, if you'd like to see the full helmet cam, obviously go check out that video on my vlog and thanks so much for watching listening to me rant following my journey please like comment subscribe i love to hear from you guys and i will catch up with you guys soon as the season finally slows down see you soon